Hello, Model Railroaders. John back with the 16 by 8 River layout. Uh, then I'm covering this side. You saw the last video you show, I showed you where I did my trees on the other side. Now I decided to start working on this area here. And I know I really adva uh, rapidly advanced a lot of this. I was had done this first, and you'll see the pictures of that. And then this hill, you'll probably notice the rock formation in the front face is gone. I cut it off. I didn't like it. It didn't fit my little valley, I guess, sort of speak, scene. So I cut that off and just uh, grouted it in on the bottom to give it simulated dirt. Um, one thing I'm working on right now also is I am going to be uh, changing out my lighting. I've been fighting with this for a long time. I'm tired of the yellow warm light because it my colors are not accurate. And every time I do a video or pictures, I've got to edit every single one. And that's part of the time I spend doing it and I'm tired of doing it. So my upper canopy lighting is going to change. I'm gonna, uh, I bought some different LEDs. These are, these are warm white. I bought uh, regular daylight bright white. And if that don't work, I'm gonna pull the canopy off completely and put different lighting in my ceiling because I just, I'm tired of having to deal with that. Now I did change my upper lights the ones on top to be now they're bright white. So it did help quite a bit. This color here is not too terrible. It's pretty, it's kind of accurate, but it's still a little too yellow. The color in the very background, what you see is very yellow. That's way more yellow than the thing actually is. And how you can really tell is if you look at the back here, because I got the overhead ones on, let's see if I can zoom in and you can really see it. If you look here, or up here, you'll see it's a nice bright blue here, then it gets a gray blue above it. The bright blue is from the lights in the ceiling, and that's what the yellow light does. It turns all my blue uh, to kind of a grayish tone, so that's kind of why I'm not really very happy with this, and I, I'm sick of editing it. Just tired of constantly editing this stuff, so that's why I'm going to do that. So that's just one thing. And then plus, I just wanted to show you this. Like I say, I did this part already and I'm gonna kind of duck the camera underneath my little bridge here. Oh, and one other thing I'm gonna mention, this bridge, it is eventually, eventually, I don't know when, it's probably gonna be one of the absolute very last things I'm gonna work on probably next year, if I even do it. I raised the layout up, it, my layout is up to, uh, I think to this spot here, it's 56 inches off the ground. So to duck underneath here is very simple, especially for me. Uh, I'm, not, I'm short, I'm only five foot eight. So it's easy for me to uh, duck under. But I had to screw the thing down and you can see where I, where I did that. I did that on both sides. And the reason I had to do that is, uh, I'm gonna put a clip of a, pic, a picture of one of my locomotives I was, I, it was running and I had to run, I ran around, I had to come underneath here and I got up a little too early and knocked the thing off and wait till you see the locomotive. It, it landed, falling that far down to onto a cement floor, it didn't do very well. So I decided I'm gonna just screw the thing down. Ain't nothing gonna lift it off now. It's bolted solid. That's a six inch leg screw on both sides. So anyways, I don't know why I mentioned that, but just thought I'd tell you in case you guys are wondering what that little shiny knob is sticking the gold knob sticking up so i'm going to go ahead and duck this underneath here and then we'll get in front of the rock formation i did there we go let's see if we need there we go so again the lighting is still a little off on it because of the the uh yellow lights going but that i have but it's what it is so i'm going to zoom this in you can kind of see what uh, how i did all this now I've got, I've used, and as you can see, there's two or three tones. I used uh, T1350 of green, like I did on my big hill. And I used uh, burnt, I think it's 340 something, I don't know. I used the Woodland Sings burnt, fine. And then I used uh, yellow on here, which obviously aided in probably making it yellow. But uh, that's what I did to accomplish this. I'm going to zoom this out so you can really get a good look at it. And then, of course, I did uh, line up some trees on it. I'll put a little assortment. There's going to be more on there than that. And then, of course, my little 
waterfront area is going to be um, that's just the water will go up into that. I don't know where it'll end. It's I probably won't do the water real deep because this is going to take about two hundred and fifty dollars worth of acrylic to get this whole thing done. So that's the way I'm going to do it, and I, we're going to be talking about that too in my next video. I'm going to do a modification to break up some of the water because it's too much, too many large spans. So anyways, but uh, that's kind of where I left it. And you can probably see here, I don't know if I even, I can't remember if I talked about this before, but I did put some uh, um, power poles in. I think it just added something. I, I My friend was over and he says, you know, you should put something along there. Even if there's no buildings, they, trains always add power poles in a lot of areas, not all areas. I, so I have a ton of them. So I thought, I'll put them there. And I kind of liked how they looked. So I'm going to leave them for now, and you'll see pictures of the train with and, with and where they are, where it is, without not being there too, and you'll see the power poles alone. So it just gives you an idea what it is. Now the other thing is before everyone complains, because uh, I get a lot of people who say, oh, they don't run that train with that cars and blah, blah, blah. All these trains on here right now are all my commonly used trains. These are the ones I use the most, and that's why they're all just sitting on the tracks. So I'm going to move this over and walk down just a little further. Hang on here. It's going to bump a little bit. As a matter of fact, I'll move the train out of the way right now so you can see the power poles. So, yeah, there you, you kind of can really see them. Another thing I was working on, too, which uh, took me quite a bit of time, was my little trio of C and W's back there, I took those and I, they were kind of the cheapy out there in blue box, but I really always liked this color combination. Um, and these were kind of some special ones that uh, I got from a friend who is a good friend and I just wanted to make sure they always were taken care of. These things are mint. I took them all apart, greased everything, cleaned them, added glass to them and then I uh, did some uh, LED lights in them so they do light up uh, properly without having a light big light bulb inside the cab so they, they work pretty good I'm pretty happy with them so and I think I have one video clip uh, short where you can see them all three running and then of course I did add some more cars but for this spot I have uh, just the, uh, these few and I also did buy a set of uh, passenger trains for these passenger freight car, or, yeah, I think I bought five or six, because I just, they're probably gonna be parked on here a lot. You'll see them sitting here a lot. So anyways, that's that. So getting back to this, I'm gonna walk down here and you can kind of see this from this side, what I did, what it looks like. Zoom back in. See, with the overhead lights, the way they are, this is more of a true color. This is kind of the way it's supposed to be. So it, I'm pretty happy. That's what, that's what made me realize it. One of my overhead lights had burned out. So I went and grabbed another one and I didn't see what setting it was on. It goes 3,000, 4,000, 5,000. And it was on um, 5,000. I thought, well, I didn't, I just plugged in. Why is it so white in here? And I realized it was the type of lighting and I put on 3000 like the other one and it's yellow so now I got it on the white and now the grass everything shows up the way it's supposed to so anyways this is what I did and I just thought you'd like to see it I'm very pleased with it all it needs is some uh, a little more detailed landscape some static grass and of course water and there's gonna be like I say more trees that back hill will have quite a few more patches of trees, groves of trees. So that's kind of that's kind of where I'm leaving things. I know it's a little bit longer video, but I did cover a lot of things in this short amount of time. So thanks for watching and uh, leave me comments if you want to.